Hello humans, Dr. Kai here and welcome to No Man's Sky, a game of exploring the absolute infinite world of craziness that is No Man's Sky. Quintillions of unique planets, each with unique flora and fauna, like this guy over here. You will not find anything like this on any other planet in the game, it's incredible. Until now, unfortunately, all you were able to do was admire them and maybe ride them and harvest from them. But now, you're able to actually adopt them as companions, which is great. The companions update was long awaited and much anticipated. However, there is a problem. The companions register only lets you store up to six creatures. Now that's, as you can imagine, a pretty big problem. Are you going to grow attached to creatures that you're going to have to say permanently goodbye to one day? Do you want to be a creature collector? Unfortunately, you can't. So I have written an app called the No Man's Sky Companions Backup and Restore Tool by Dr. Kai. This tool will display all of your companions, let you back them up, rename them, and restore them at will. And it's nice and easy and it works very, very well. So, for example, I can rename my sauropod Wiley Walla, which is a procedurally generated name. It's not going to show up over here, by the way. I can call him Sorry, Sorry. That's his name now. Now what I can do is I can back him up to whichever location I want. So I've made a folder called No Man's Sky Companions in my documents. And um, anytime I click that button from now on, I'll be brought here, so that's great. Um, I'll call him Sori. Now I can actually load him into this empty slot I've got over here. And notice, by the way, these six slots pertain to these six slots in the same order. Like those two are locked, for example. Um, so this free slot over here, I'll bring him in. And there he is. Um, now, what I need to do in order to show the changes in the game is I have to click Save Changes. Um, if one of my two uh, saves is not up to date, it will give this warning, but don't worry about it. It will just save it to my last save. Um, now, all I need to do is reload autosave. And you will see that I will now have t a duplicate of that sauropod because that's what I did. Um, you will notice in the app that if a save has not been upgraded, it will just, well, I actually haven't got any of those anymore. <laughs> it will say save needs upgrading at the top. Um, remember, you've got five slots in the game, so it will let you pick any of the five. I'm currently in slot number four. And um, in order to find the save game location, which the program does remember, you should only have to do this once. You click the load save button. It should take you right to the place where saves are, and you're going to have to click this folder here. It says it up here. And then, as I say, it should remember it forever. Another thing I can do is if I, for, for example, now go to my companions register and delete this sauropod, which by the way, just to prove a concept, he's here now. <laughs> if I delete him, once I've done that, I need to save. <laughs> now, yes, now if I do that, he's gone. So you don't even need to restart the game to do the magic of this tool. Um, there's a couple of more things I want to tell you about the tool while we're at it. Um, whenever you do save changes, it is backed up. Um, some instructions here. Um, clicking that button will bring up your save location and your backup location. It will save up to three backups of each of the save game files. Um, instructions on how to restore that are in the app in that message that we just clicked through. Um, the, game, the program is downloadable and installable. So what you do is you click, you come to the, the, the URL which is in the um, description of this video. Then you click install, you download um, you click more info, run anyway. I'm not paying, unfortunately, for a um, certificate in order to avoid that message. I apologize. Um, just have to trust me, <laughs> I guess. You can also decompile the app and see that it's not malicious. I've made many apps before. Click run anyway, and it will install it. Now, whenever I release an update, which I'm going to have to do frequently because Hello Games will break this every time they release a patch, pretty much. Um, you just click the update button. It will check for updates, and if there is one, well, it's not going to do that now because I'm running it in debug mode. If there is one, it will automatically restart the tool once it's downloaded with the updates. Nice and easy. Um, there will be release notes here. There are some instructions here. And there are a couple of discords as well. So we've got the No Man's Sky Discord, which I've just made. Um, and then there's the No Man's Sky Seed Central for sharing general seeds, not just companions. But the one I made is just for companions and support for the program. And if there is anything else, I will mention it now, but I believe that is everything. As I mentioned, as I didn't mention yet, um, the thumbnails do not pertain to the creatures in the game, unfortunately, um, exactly, but 
the class is there, so you should be able to work out which one is which, as well as the corresponding slot and the names. Um, it should, when you pick a slot, because the slots aren't numbered in game or whatever, um, it will give you the information here. So how many hours you've played, when you last saved it, and what game mode it is. Hopefully, that combined with what creatures show up will be enough information to help you work out which slot is which. And also, you should know that just like the game, it shows the creatures from the most recent one of the two saves. Remember, the game actually has two saves per slot. It's got an auto save and a manual save. Um, they're not labeled, the save game files themselves are not labeled that way, so it's hard to work out which one is which, but it, like the game does, it will always correspond to whichever is the most recent. Although, when you click save changes, it will save just the companions, not anything else about the save will get overwritten, but it will save just the companions to both saves, just to keep things clear and simple and easy. And if, as I say, if this, if one of the to those two saves or, or the entire save itself has not been upgraded since a recent update and there's something broken about the app, it will not display anything here. All the slots, all the buttons will be grayed out and all the slots will be empty and it will await you going into the game, booting up that save, saving it again so that the game can upgrade the save game file. That's all the information I have for now. Um, I am going to be looking into thumbnail generation. It may one day be possible. Hello Games, if any of you are watching this, please be in touch. Um, there's also other people that have programs that would benefit from you giving away some of the game code to help us piece together the seeds into actual, um, you know, using the assets of the game. Um, that's already possible, I think, for certain things like ship parts and whatever. It'd be cool if we could do that for the companions as well. So please be in touch. Um, we're also considering making a sharing website just in case the Discord like gets too popular. Um, that also might be very dependent on the fact of generating thumbnails because without that it's going to be pretty pointless. Um, unless we can include uploading screenshots but that becomes such a big headache so I'm not sure I'm going to be doing that. Um, but that's on the horizon. Um, we may expand this tool a little bit. Feel free to hit the donate button if you enjoy the tool. Even a dollar, five dollars, whatever you can afford, it may, goes a long way. Even if just one percent of people would donate for programs like this, it would make a massive difference. So it would pay for the time put into this as well as the maintenance costs. So please feel free to do that. But otherwise, I hope you enjoy the tool. Links in the description. Don't forget to update this tool, check for updates once in a while. Um, it will check every seven days, so it should stay up to date. Um, and good luck in your creature hunting, and please, please, please like, let me know how it goes. Give feedback, uh, join the Discord, show me some of the most amazing creatures you found. Maybe I can borrow some. <laughs> and so long, humans. To the heavens to see what secrets they hold. Join me as I sail amongst the stars.